um, I'm going to try and do the cutie mark for you. Um, the pain has subsided a little bit, but when it when it's a day like this, I just gotta go through it the whole day. Usually into the night, I'm in a lot of pain. Um, you know, it, it, I don't know if it's gas, but I know uh, letting out gas either way <laughs> doesn't take away the pain. I just gotta ride it out. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and do the cutie mark and then take pictures. Uh, this just like this pain just hit me all of a sudden. So um, all right, um, I wanted to tell you what happened at the doctor's. L let me just say that real quick. We rescheduled for Friday. I had a bad feeling about this doctor that she changed her mind that they were lying about not getting the um, the the voucher for payment from the insurance company, and. Um, I called up the lady. She came back from vacation on Wednesday. I called her up. She she faxed it over first thing. I called them up like within 15 minutes. They were saying they still hadn't gotten it, but yet I heard the fax machine going. So I'm like, this lady just doesn't want to do it. Um, call back the lady again. If maybe has she maybe she didn't fax it yet. She must have been really busy because she had just come back from vacation, and um, she didn't call me back, and that was okay. Uh, I just waited like an hour. I took a walk, waited an hour, called back, and they said they got it. But she was questioning a bunch of stuff, and I'm like, look, all I need is the physical. I don't know what else is on that paper. And she said, well, she's going to have to show it to the doctor and blah, blah, blah. So Friday morning, Friday morning, I get a phone call. I knew it wasn't good. The doctor didn't like, she said, along with the voucher, there was like four, four or five pages of stuff that she had to fill in and she said she was only willing to do the physical and that she doesn't want to deal with all that bureaucracy that um it's had a whole bunch of stuff there that i didn't even apply for and i said look i'm just trying to get this physical done i just want to see if i can get insurance um and so i called back the lady and i said look does she really have to fill out all this paperwork blah blah she said no so the lady called back the doctor and said look you were willing to do the physical, just do the physical and mail me a copy of your findings. And she said, no, she don't want to do it. She just doesn't want to do it. And that's it. So I was in a huge depression last week. So I was in a serious depression last week. I couldn't do anything. I really didn't get anything done. I knew it was back to the drawing board. Um, I was depressed the whole weekend. All I did was eat and eat and eat and watch Netflix. I just, I just couldn't do nothing. And um, it's just back to the drawing board. Um, yesterday, I, I did. I was just too depressed to do the video. I wanted to get this done yesterday and go visit my mom because um, on top of that, my car had to be taken to the shop on Saturday. It's been acting up, and he said it was a 14-hour job. And that it was going to be two thousand um, dollars. We couldn't pass inspection unless we got these things done. Um, unfortunately, um, I was just so depressed. I couldn't visit my mom. My mom is with my brother. I couldn't visit with her. Um, and uh, you know, I was just really depressed over the weekend. All I did was eat and watch Netflix all day. Yesterday, I was still depressed. So I decided to just kind of really clean my vanity and take those pictures for you of what I keep on my vanity. Uh, this is where I do my makeup every, you know, my, you know, my regular makeup, my, you know, my video makeup. And, um, so yeah, um, so I said, let me do this video today. Cause I told my brother I'll come over today, but I said, you know, I really want to do this video. I really want to do this look and either go there later or maybe go there tomorrow after my daughter's appointment she has an appointment in in the early afternoon actually in the in the morning late morning uh, but now that i got this pain coming back it's starting to subside a little right now um yeah anyway um so yeah so let me get to trying to do this cutie mark i also want to change my lipstick to a turquoise Oh, and I did use, uh, I used my teal flash with my um, uh, bright turquoise um, eyeshadow. 
that I already put away already. So I'm not going to look for it right now, especially since I'm not feeling well. But yeah, let me try and do this cutie mark and then see, see where it goes from there. Uh, but the pain does seem to be subsiding. So, all right. I'm like afraid to move. I'm afraid the pain will come back. All right, now that I'm feeling better, I, I want to continue what I was saying, that I was in such a big depression because, you know, I, I told, I said, you know, the least you could do, because, I mean, for two weeks I was waiting for this appointment. I could have been looking for another doctor. The least you could do, I said, was at least give me refills. I've been without my refills for two, without my, my diabetic pills for two weeks, and I could feel myself swelling up. I could feel, uh, I could see it in my face again. Uh, I could see it in my stomach. Um... You know, I just could, I just feel like the, all the symptoms were coming back and the pain was starting to come back in my belly and in my underbelly where I, I, I got that uh, infection. And um, she said, no, not unless I'm willing to pay. You know what? I'm thinking that maybe the whole time that's what she was hoping, that I would get so desperate that I would pay her the $200. Because the visit was like 130 plus the blood work, she said, will start at 30 um, and you know, I was like, look, I have my discharge papers. If I could just show you my discharge papers, could you at least, you know, do that for me? And you know, she said no. So, you know, um, I was just really in a depression because I mean, I was so depressed that I was like, you know, maybe that's just, that's, that's just my fate that I'm going to die because I can't get these pills. I wanted to just throw in the towel. A part of me just wanted to give up and just let myself die. You don't know the horrible thoughts that were going through my head. I might as well eat all the sugar and all the salt I want. I'm going to die anyway. Um, you know, uh, I'm afraid to weigh myself. You know, um, I was taking, uh, they said vitamin D and E were good. That was not working. So what I did was I had went out to G GNC, the vitamin store, because I heard, I was looking, I looked up a bunch of medications, over the counter stuff you know, herbs and vitamins and stuff. Um, so I went to GNC. They didn't have any of that, but they had their own brand of diabetic pills. And one was 20-something uh, and one was 40-something. They added something to the 40-something. And all I needed was something to regulate my insulin and the sugar in my body. And um, so I didn't get the $40. I don't know what all that stuff, other stuff came with it, but I just wanted something that was going to... You know, and then also, I, it, it, this had 90 days supply as opposed to just a 30 day supply. Now, my diabetic pills cost me $4 and last me like six months um, because it's $4 a month. They last me six months because I cut them in half because they were too strong for me. This is going to be 20, like 23, $24 every, every 90 days. But anyway, um, I'm, I, Oh, I took them over the weekend and then like before I was getting a really bad stomach ache. So I don't know if it was that, but, um, you know, maybe my body needs to adjust to them. Um, I'm, I'm hoping they work. I've been taking them for a couple of days. Um, I'm just hoping they work. I know I was feeling the chest in my pain, ch pains in my chest, the pains in my belly. Um, I got a couple of bumps and once those bumps break through, they they burn they sting it's horrible um but so far the bumps haven't broken through um you know so you know we'll see we'll see what happens with that um so yeah um that that was uh, the rest of the story with that i'm so glad these these pills for bloating work this time it's as if my stomach swells up and the swelling goes all the way up into my ribs and the pain is horrendous um and nothing i do lay down stand up nothing it's just a horrible pain uh sometimes i wind up vomiting um and usually what i have to do unfortunately is take prune juice and see if maybe that'll clean up my system usually i'm in pain all day into the night um and usually it doesn't subside until the next day so Right now, the pain has subsided, thank God.